I show you all the time, but I would just never get over it. It's so peaceful. And that sun is so warm today. Oh, I'm just so happy. I'm feeling better now. Yum. Ping pong. Guess who's back? Back. Back. <laughs> Nora's back from Dubai. We've met for a bit of ping pong. Got, oh, these are my favourite Chelsea buns. Corn mm. dumplings. <laughs> God, this hot chocolate looks insane. We've come to Cafe Concerto, it's by Bond Street. I love the chain of these restaurants because their desserts are amazing. So, we've got hot chocolate. I don't know what cake I'm gonna get. But they all look amazing. Look. I think I might get an eclair. Oh, look at the macaroons. You love a macaroon. Yeah, or maybe that one, the lemon oh, I might have an eclair. Yeah, that one looks amazing. My hot chocolate come about like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and Laura still hasn't got hers. So all my vlogs, all I do is eat and drink. Hazelnut eclair, lemon tart. Laura, can we oh, you look so cute with all the Christmas lights behind you. Can we just laugh at, on Snapchat, they have a filter that says Brexit drama has me like. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning my beauties, I'm feeling a lot better this morning. Oh my god, I felt so ill last night, like really, really crap. So I went to bed at half past nine. Can you believe it? <laughs> half past nine and I woke up at half eight. I needed it, like oh my god, I was so... Tired, so I've had a Barocca this morning. I still feel a bit rubbish, so I might have a lem sip now. Um, I've just filmed this look for an Instagram video, which I love. I don't know what it is with these glitter liners, they like really sting my eyes when I first put them on, but now it's absolutely fine. Um, and I love this lip. Um, this whole makeup look is collection cosmetics, and this lipstick is like so buttery so nice really really like it and how cute is my bee jumper this is from dorothy perkins love yeah i've got to wrap all my christmas presents this weekend which i'm actually really looking forward to like that would be a really fun thing to do um but because i have my instagram grid theme as photo photo video i have so many christmas photos that i want to post and obviously i've only got like five days now to post them all because then Christmas will be over. <laughs> um, so I need to post with them, but I haven't got any videos, like any makeup Instagram videos. And I meant to just have a day where I filmed a bulk load of them to have them all ready for Christmas and I just didn't. So now I'm panicking because I just don't have any Instagram videos except from the one I've just filmed, which will be going up probably next week. Let's have a cuppa and then we can have a chat. Bless my friend Millie, when I met her the other day, she topped me up on all my favourite GHD products. This is like the best brush ever. This is one thing that I was like, please, can you bring me this? Because I don't know where my one has gone to. But this is the narrow dressing brush. And it's so good for backcombing because it's like bristles. It's just really, really good. So I love that because it makes putting extensions in a dream. This is amazing, split end therapy, love this. Put it on before I blow dry my hair. This is the best hairspray ever. I always use this, like every time I do my hair. And this is Sunny's favorite hairspray as well. So what I'm thinking is because we'll both use it anyway, I might wrap this up as a little stocking filler for his Christmas present. What else have we got? Final shine spray. I haven't tried this before. I'm excited to try that. Snuggled up. I love how I've got like really glam, glittery makeup on and I'm in a hoodie with this throw over me. This has honestly been one of my favorite purchases of this year. Look how big this throw is. It's huge. When my friends come around, this will like cover four of us. It's massive, so soft. I got this from, um, I think it was TK Maxx. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was TK Maxx. And it's from the brand, 
L. It's so nice and snuggly. I do like every year, well what I've done for the past couple of years is kind of reflect on my year. And I really like to do it because it makes me feel really grateful for what has happened during the year. Like it's easy sometimes to remember what the bad things that have happened, but it's really important to remember the good things that ha has happened and to reflect on them. So let's do my roundup of this year. Obviously, number one most amazing thing that's happened to me this year is moving out. It has been oh, amazing. Like honestly amazing. I'm so, so happy. Like I'm looking around my living room now and I love it. I love coming home. I get excited to come home. Like I honestly think I could just sit indoors like all day every day and be really, really happy. <laughs> it's just perfect. It's been such an amazing experience and it's been so nice to share it like with you guys. And obviously I know that I said that my beauty room video is coming and it definitely definitely is i think in january i'll be uploading that because at the minute it's just chock-a-block with christmas presents it's not very neat and tidy at the minute and i haven't got my dressing table stall so i want to show it to you guys when it's fully done rather than just like looking a mess right now so that is coming but that's definitely be one of the highlights creating my own makeup room i mean that's just an all-time dream who would have thought when i was at school and i was saving up to buy my dallas bronzer from benefit that i would have a whole wardrobe a whole room of makeup <laughs> we did start from the bottom now we're here so yeah i absolutely love living in neon sea if you are local please let me know in the comments below because i find it so interesting when people live near me like i think that no one is from this area but obviously people are that watch me so please let me know if you're local and also of course if you ever see me out and about please say hello because i would love to meet you guys i find it crazy that one of you guys could be following me and watching this video and then also see me looking an absolute mess walking down leon c broadway because i go out with like no makeup on my hair scraped back track suit hood up and i look an absolute mess um, so yeah, if you do, you might not actually recognise me to be fair when, when I'm walking down the on scene. This year has been the year of weddings. There's been so many weddings, but it's been amazing. So first wedding of the year was my friend Holly's. Oh my gosh, that wedding was so special. The view from that wedding is something that I'll just never forget. Like it was so magical and one of the best wedding venues I've ever been to. A really, really special day. And it's so nice that my friends have been doing their weddings abroad because it just makes it like a whole experience spending like five days out there with all of your friends and celebrating the wedding. So that was amazing. And then I had my brother's wedding. And I remember like he was so nervous because he's not a very like confident person. He doesn't like speaking in public. So for him, it was just like the most nerve wracking thing ever. Um, so yeah, he was really nervous. And I remember sitting down and looking at him and it was just, I had butterflies in my stomach. The music that were that was playing was so lovely and I just looked at him and he looked so nervous and it was just so I, I couldn't believe like my brother's getting married this is crazy a beautiful day and everything was done so beautifully the music was stunning just everything like you know when it's just like the whole ambience of it was just it, it gave me goosebumps see seeing my little Harry and Sophia walking down the aisle <laughs> bless them it makes me so sad that probably by the time that i get married they're gonna to be too old to be like a page boy and a flower girl but obviously they're gonna be involved in my wedding one day like sophia will be my bridesmaid for sure and then last but not least was my friend sinead's oh my god i was a bridesmaid it was so amazing to be a bridesmaid at one of my best friend's wedding seeing her in the morning like getting ready spending the whole day with her and then I just remember like standing in the archway and all us bridesmaids were standing there absolutely pooing ourselves because we were so nervous. And then Sinead was behind us looking like an absolute dream. She looked amazing and oh, it was just such a fun day. Like I always knew that their after party to the wedding was gonna be just 
amazing and it really was like all of us just had the best time it was such good music and yeah it was brilliant of course before that we had the hendos now holly's hendo was in vegas 32 of us in vegas like it was epic <laughs> it was definitely experience and i don't think i'll ever be going away with 32 people again i can't imagine and there was a lot of us and it was just ridiculously just so much fun it was a whirlwind though it went so quickly it was only there for three nights i think so it did go really quickly but then i think my favorite part of it was going to la i absolutely fell in love with la like i don't know i just had this feeling in my stomach that was just like I could imagine living here. I could pitch myself living here. So yeah, you never know what's going to happen in the future. But I just fell in love with that place. And I, I really, really want to go back. I'm hoping that next year I will be going. Um, and I'd like to stay out there for a, a while, like a few weeks or something. So we will see. And then for Sinead's, we surprised her. She thought she was going to Liverpool for the weekend. And we turned up at the airport and we were like, you're going to Barcelona. So that was a really nice surprise. I can't believe that we managed to keep that secret. I definitely kept on slipping up. Um, but luckily she didn't catch on. And yeah, we had such a good time in Barcelona. It was a really like last minute trip and we managed to pull off the surprise, which is brilliant. So that was so much fun. Another trip that was amazing was how we started the year in Copenhagen. So that was my Christmas present to Sunny. And that was a lot of pressure and I don't think I'd do that again. Um, like organizing a new year trip away because I had the pressure of organizing New Year's Eve. And I didn't like that because if it would have been bad, it would have been my fault. But luckily it was amazing. Went to a really, really nice restaurant for New Year's Eve and they had a balcony and we watched the fireworks at midnight on the balcony with champagne, which was such an experience. And then we got in a cab and we went to this bar and danced all night, which was great. Like obviously if you have seen me and Sunny on a night out um, on Instagram, whatever, you know that we love a good dance. Like that's what we class as a, a good night if we've had a good dance. So yeah, that was a really good experience. And Sunny has always wanted to go to Copenhagen. I've never really been that fussed about it. I've never really thought about going there, but he really wanted to go. And I'm glad we went, but I wouldn't go in the winter again. because I feel like we've experienced that. So I do really want to go back in the summertime. Now, in terms of my career, I think the career highlights is having my OPI, Beauty's Big Sister Box. Like that is such an achievement for me. I can't believe that my name, my YouTube name is on a beauty box packaging. Like that is an absolute dream. And I'm so proud of that. I've got it on display in my makeup wardrobe and it will be something that will keep forever and show my kids when I grow up because it really is an achievement to be able to collaborate with such a huge global brand. I'm so thankful and lucky and thank you so, so much to everybody who bought that box. It's still available now if you want to go and get it. Um, they just restocked, so it's on the website now. And it's all of my favorite shades within OPI in a beautiful rose gold box. So, so happy with that. And then one morning I woke up and I was getting all these followers on Instagram and I was like, where are they coming from? Like no one's tagged me, I don't understand. I, someone must have shouted me out, but I can't find it. So I was trying to do my digging and then I got an email from someone who I'd spoke to at a newspaper months before and I just forgot about it. I didn't really think that anything had happened from it. She was like, oh, just so you know, like you're in the Sun newspaper today. I was like, huh, what? And me and Sunny were on our way to London. So I was like, I need to go and find this newspaper now. So I was in a fabulous magazine. So we managed to hunt it down because obviously it's only out on a Sunday and we couldn't wait until tomorrow because it would have gone. So I needed it on Sunday. So even though it was raining, I managed to keep it dry in my coat and it, so, <laughs> sorry, my friend Laura just called me. Newspaper. Yeah, so I managed to keep it dry in my coat. My face was huge on the paper. Like, I couldn't believe it. And I got so many followers that day and it made me so happy because it's so hard to grow on Instagram and on YouTube as well. It's takes time to build up your following. And it really did just give me a boost. Like 
having all those people like join me on that one day was amazing so thank you if you did find me through the newspaper for me i think the major things that stick out like was over the summer i went to so many concerts and festivals which was amazing and the world cup was going on and we had a heat wave it was such a good summer this year i think my favorite concerts were justin timberlake 100 percent he's one of the best people i've ever seen i can't believe i haven't seen him before but 100 percent i want to see him again that was amazing and so last minute i literally got tickets on the morning of the show like i don't know how there were still tickets left but managed to get tickets on the morning of the show went with sunny and it was incredible he puts on such a show um jay-z and beyonce seeing that at west ham stadium open air stadium summer having an april spritz watching beyonce on the stage i mean does life get any better than that? <laughs> oh, and of course, Shawn Mendes, my number one love. <laughs> he is one of my all-time favorite people ever. I love him and he puts on such a show. Sunny was like, yeah, I get it. I get why you love him because he was so good. We saw him at Summertime Ball. And then festival-wise, wireless, obviously love wireless went on friday and the saturday also was very tempted to go on the sunday but didn't <laughs> if you watched my vlog the other day you would know that i'm going to the ariana grande concert next year and she's one of my favorite singers of all time so really really buzzing to see her my friend also really wants to go and see magic mike has anyone seen that yet in london let me know if you have and if it's worth going like <laughs> it looks so cringe, but it looks like a really fun night out. What I would absolutely love is if I looked at the comments and just saw so much like happiness and excitedness. So please let me know in the comments what your highlights of 2018 would be so we can finish this year off on a high and look forward to 2019. I failed at my New Year's resolutions this year. I mean, my New Year's resolution, I think one of them was to move out done that bingo and um, but because i've been so wrapped up in that i haven't relearned spanish and that is 100 percent my new year's resolution 2019 i am going to learn spanish let me know what your new year's resolutions are in the comments below i need to quickly edit this vlog get it up and my friend Laura is on her way to my house. I'm so excited. She's getting the train down to Leon C now. We're gonna have a wander around. She's gonna look around the flat and we're gonna have a nice chilled time here before my friend's engagement party tonight. So yeah, I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Friday. I hope for a lot of you, it is the last working day of the year. Have the most amazing start to your weekend and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.